So, Kap, good afternoon once again. Saturday, the 29th of May 2021, and this is the English language summary of the daily press briefing here at the Center for COVID Situation Administration, or CCSA, as, as always. So, I'll start off first with the numbers that we have recorded for today. New recoveries, we have 4,439. Compared to the new confirmed cases, uh, slightly a bit higher, which is 4,803 cases, as you see on screen. Out of this number, 2,050 are from local transmission, 51 from overseas infection, and 2,702 from within the prisons or penitentiaries. We have 34 new fatalities, making the cumulative 988 fatalities in Thailand so far. This is almost reaching 1,000 deaths. Uh, however, the death uh, fatality rate in Thailand in terms of COVID is still quite low compared to many countries around the world. So we haven't reached 1,000 yet, but it's almost 1,000. As you can see, 12 far from 1,000. I hope that the number will not increase at all. The number of uh, people currently being treated, active cases at the moment, is 46,480, as you see on screen. So just some observations from the new cases. Overall, the rate continues uh, to plateau, as has been the general trend for this past week. The new cases in Bangkok metropolitan area and nearby provinces still account for almost 80% of all cases in the country, while other provinces, the rest of the provinces aside from Bangkok, account for roughly only 20% of all cases. The new clusters continue to be detected in areas of concern, especially in factories, with risk factors being dining together in groups within tight and confined spaces, and large gathering of crowds and in the penitentiaries throughout the country, which have all been put under the bubble and seal measures to stem the spread of COVID-19. Now, just about the clusters, firstly in Bangkok, uh, to undertake the proactive measures. This includes the active case findings in Bangkok in all areas of concern in each and every district in the Bangkok area, as well as uh, to find remedial measures for those whose livelihoods have been affected because of the site quarantine and bubble and seal measures. That will be also our plan. Now, Dr. Tui Sin also showed us some graphics on the event-based data in terms of district uh, wise, now, totally now we have integrated the districts in terms of the clusters into six main clusters in Bangkok now. As you uh, recall earlier, we uh, had a lot of clusters, uh, talking about a lot of clusters around, around the city. Now, in terms of epidemiology, they have integrated this into six main uh, clusters in terms of the proximity, in terms of the uh, source as well. So six main clusters now. Some of these clusters, just as an example, in Bangkapi district in Bangkok. Uh, that's one area wherein we have found people infected, both Thai nationals as well as uh, other foreign nationals, like from Myanmar and Cambodia as well. In Bangkok, uh, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, however, is taking this very seriously. They have, for example, visited and uh, they're talking to around up to 30 uh, construction uh, workers' campsites, about 30 construction workers' campsite being uh, in discussion with the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration in order, order to adjust, in order to help them um, manage uh, the uh, different measures that are put in place for the construction workers. So that's uh, happening uh, nearby Bangkok in Non Taburi province as well. Uh, we have today recorded 112, 100, 112 new uh, cases in construction worker camps in Non Taburi, as an example of the information that was displayed by Dr. Tuisin just now. So there had been an abundance of online questions uh, regarding what foreign nationals can expect from the nationwide vaccine rollout plan. I'd just like to briefly recap on this information today. So the question may be what to expect in June 2021. Now in June, this marks the kickoff month of the official 
COVID-19 mass vaccination for the general public in Thailand, as you would know. This means that all people living on Thai soil, Thais and foreign nationals alike, are requested to register for vaccination through designated channels should they wish to receive the vaccine. This will allow authorities to plan ahead accordingly and avoid crowded gatherings and long queues on the vaccination day and foreign nationals have always been an integral part of the efforts to achieve herd immunity in the country and are encouraged to get vaccinated. So therefore authorities have assigned various agencies to specifically be in charge of different groups of foreign nationals in order to facilitate the process of the vaccine rollout. The, for example, the governors of each province as well as the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration have been charged with facilitating the nationwide uh, rollout. So foreigners residing in Thailand should check information issued by each province for details of the venues. For example, and you see there are some uh, graphics, some visuals on, on screen there of foreign nationals in the provinces. Now for instance, hospitals have been designated Specific hospitals have been designated in Bangkok. We've talked about this already. While in Chiang Mai province, for example, they recently announced the launch of a dedicated website for foreign nationals in the province to register for their vaccines starting on the 28th of May 2021. And all of this, of course, is aside from the information that we have received in terms of informing the hospital where you have your own medical records across the country. So come 7th of June for this. The Thai government has procured uh, Sinovac and AstraZeneca as the main vaccines for vaccination that will be free of charge and there will be additional vaccines from other manufacturers which are now in the procurement process. So AstraZeneca is due to be delivered in and uh, pr uh, vaccine produced in Thailand in June. The aim is to vaccinate 70% of the population by this year and to have the rest of the population uh, vaccinated uh, next year. So additionally, as you would know in the news, there is an option for the private sector to import vaccines via the public sector, such as the Government Pharmaceutical Organization or GPO. This is because most manufacturers will not trade COVID-19 vaccines directly with private companies since these vaccines are approved for emergency use only for the time being. And with the private sector option, people will be able to choose their preferred vaccine that differs from those provided by the government. These vaccines, however, must be, still be approved by Thailand's FDA, Food and Drug Administration, or the Ministry of Public Health. The most recent example is Sinopharm vaccine, which is being imported by the Junapon Research Academy and scheduled to arrive in Thailand in June 2021. So just a little bit more on the vaccination approved. The FDA of Thailand on Friday approved the vaccine developed by Sinopharm for emergency use, making it the fifth approved by Thailand for emergency use. And Thailand's FDA on, uh, approve uh, this uh, specifically. Uh, it's the most recent one approved, which is uh, just this Friday. And others approved are, for example, Sinovac, AstraZeneca, and, and the rest. Now, just in terms of side effects, I'd like to touch on that. Uh, mild to moderate side effects are normal for people being vaccinated. So when the time comes and you're vaccinated, uh, this is quite normal. Uh, when the virus enters the body, the body fights back and common symptoms like fever or chills are the result of our immune system attacking the virus by increasing blood flow and raising our temperature. Vaccines are de designed to activate the immune system in some way but without making us really sick. So while it's normal to build immunity without side effects, it's also normal for some people to experience mild to moderate symptoms after being vaccinated, like pain at the injection area on your arm, uh, fever and chills. Uh, these side effects usually last only a few days and can go away on their own. So vaccines help protect us against disease and feeling mild or moderate side effects after receiving one such vaccine is a sign that the vaccine and our immune system is actually uh, working. So 
I hope you have a uh, pleasant rest of the weekend. When there's more information to provide uh, to you, we'll come up with you, well, come up to you with this uh, confirmed information on any updates that we have, important information in due course. So thank you very much for your attention. Have a happy rest of the weekend. สวัสดีครับกลับขอบพระคุณค่ะ